Welcome to German History with a German accent. My name is Wolf, W-O-L-F, just like the animal. And before I get started with this video about Georg von Küchler, I just wanted to thank all my subscribers. We recently hit the 800 mark, which I'm very proud of. And as a little treat for the 800 subscriber mark, I now started publishing videos in German. I mark these videos in parentheses with the language now, so you can decide if you just want to listen and watch the German or English videos. Also the language and the thumbnail will be in, each, in the same language as the video is made. Georg von Küchler was born on May 30th, 1881 in Hanau into a military family. His father held the rank of a colonel and his mother was the daughter of Wilhelm von Scholten, who was a major general. After von Küchler finished school, he entered the Prussian army in 1900 and was promoted to the rank of lieutenant only one short year later. In the beginning of 1914, Georg von Küchler, after attending the War Academy in Berlin, was transferred into the Greater German General Staff. In World War I, he served as company commander at the Western Front. During the war, he was awarded both classes of the Iron Cross and promoted to the rank of captain. Transferred to the general staff, he served in the 206th Infantry Division and the 9th Reserve Division. When World War I ended, von Küchler fought the Red Army in Poland with the Freikorps. In the interwar period, Georg von Küchler stayed in the German Reichswehr and was promoted up to the rank of Major General in the year 1935 and became Inspector of Army Schools. In 1937, he became general of the artillery and took command of the first military district in East Prussia. When the Memmeland fell into German hands, von Küchler led the German troops in it. When World War II broke out, von Küchler led the Third Army during the Poland campaign, capturing the city of Danzig and afterwards moving towards eastern Poland, meeting up the Soviet troops. After the death of Werner von Fritsch on September 22, 1939, Georg von Küchler organized a ceremony for him, criticizing the circumstances of his removal just a year ago from his post as the commander of the army. I made a separate video about Werner von Fritsch where I talked about this. Following this event, Georg von Küchler was relieved of his command but the new commander of the army, Walter von Brauchitsch, intervened and von Küchler was given the command of the 18th army, with which he participated in the Western campaign by occupying Belgium and the Netherlands. For his effort, he was promoted to the rank of Colonel General in July 1940. During Operation Barbarossa, he was still in charge of the 18th army under the command of Army Group North which he would take over, succeeding Wilhelm Ritter von Leib, whom my next video in English will be about. So make sure to hit that subscribe button in January 1942. He strongly believed in the commissar order that ordered the army to not treat political commissars as prisoner of wars, but to just execute them on the spot. On June 30th, 1942, Georg von Küchler was promoted to the rank of General Field Marshal. He was also awarded the oak leaves of the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross in August 1943. On January 20, 29, 1944, after disagreements with Adolf Hitler, Georg von Küchler was replaced by Walter Model as leader of the Army Group North. This was Georg von Küchler's last assignment during World War II. After the war, he was sentenced to 20 years in the war criminal trials, but was released in 1953 due to medical reasons. On May 25, 1968, Georg von Küchler died in Garmisch-Bartenkirchen.